All right, Hayes Mega here. I'm doing a video on a uh, dual HD mirror cam video recorder. It's basically a kind of like a dash cam or like an action camera for your car. Um, so I'm a, I am a Uber driver, and um, one of the things I keep on hearing about is, hey, you gotta have some kind of like a video monitoring system. So just in case you get into a car accident, it's good to have like a dash cam and you need to have one for inside the car just in case uh, you know some passengers get all crazy on you uh, I know everyone's seen those uh, YouTube videos of like you know crazy stuff going on between like drivers and passengers so just to protect myself you know if I have to go to court or whatever for whatever reason you know I got you got evidence that hey I wasn't doing anything wrong um, and it's also it's a good to have if you get in an accident and then um, you know you have like you have evidence um, that you know that no nobody else will have you know type of thing um, so I got this on Amazon this is the Falcon Zero F360 plus dual HD mirror cam video recorder so there it is there's the box take a quick look at the box so here's some of the features it lists on the side here it has a TV and HDMI output has a 3.5 inch LCD screen with auto off feature, a built in microphone, and the speaker function. And night has a night vision for interior clips and shots. It supports 32 gigabytes HD uh, HCSD cards, and uh, it does a 180 degree rotating wide angle lens. So it has a uh, 180 degrees uh, field of view and uh, there's the part number I guess it's a uh, Lima Papa November Romeo Romeo 79 or 7468531 there you go it has a USB 2.0 compliant and uh, yeah so recycle it you know all that good stuff and then uh, so I guess uh, this is some more little features, some some little diagrams they got here. This is uh, the picture of the little mirror monitor. Uh, it has adjustable clamps. Um, it clips onto the rear view mirror. It's clamped on securely, and uh, there's a power cord to correctly install from DVR to 12 volt socket. So let's hope uh, they have some kind of a, I need to have a USB thing for my car, so, because I need USB power. But I have two, I have actually two, so. And then uh, there's their website, falconzero.com, and there's their email, if you want to email them. And Falcon Zero USA, so it looks like uh, maybe they're a USA company, I don't know. Or maybe they just have a USA branch. Um, so there it is, it comes in this nice box. Uh, let's see how much I paid for, so tell you this the main reason I bought this is because I got this on a lightning sale I had it in my I was gonna buy it and then and then uh, Amazon just said like hey uh, hey this is on sale for like 15 minutes so uh, you should buy it now um, and so you see here uh, I bought it with a bunch of other stuff but it says lightning deal here and it was like uh, so I got I saved $42 by buying it um, at that moment like boom you know so uh, let's see uh, how much it normally goes for 170 so so I got it for about $130 so that's how much I got it for but they usually go for 170 so I was, I was like oh those offers I couldn't pass up so I was like I ordered a bunch of other stuff with it and then uh, there it is I got it got it safe and sound and this is what you get so uh, and it has a nice little magnetic uh, flap here and the box opens so let's go see let's go do the unboxing. Sorry, it's a little it's a little dim in here, but uh, let's see, uh, this is a 40% off your next order. Ooh, look at that. Nice. And then there's their they have Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff. This is the car I'll be installing it on. Also, it's a 2006 Toyota Prius. Uh, there's a little instruction manual here. Kind of thumb through it real quick. Pretty simple. All in English. We'll go through that later. 
And then this looks like it's the mirror unit. This is the main this is the meat and potatoes of it. I'll go unwrap that later. And underneath it, some more goodies. This looks like a SD card. 32 gigabyte SD card. Just Falcons. It's a Falcon Zero Brown brand. It's a class class 10, so it's a halfway decent SD card. It's, it's it uses the full size H uh, SD card. Um, this is a looks like a power cable. Take this out real quick. This is the power cable for the unit USB power. So I guess you don't have to use their USB dealy, but they do come with one. There it is. And I remember I had one exactly like this. <laughs> it's just a different brand, but uh, this is a it's a pretty good one. It has a 2.4 amps per uh, per USB port. It's pretty good. Okay. And uh, what else is here? This looks like another power cord for a USB. I'm not really sure. I don't know why it has two, but okay. Figure it out later. And we install it. And then, uh, this, is another, this is a USB cable. It's a mini USB cable. And I say mini, not micro. And it looks like. Okay, I open the bag, and this is what came out. I don't know what these are. They look like little, some kind of clips of some sort. And a piece of uh, kind of double sided tapes. Oh, I know what these are. These are um, for the cable. If you want to, if you need something to, they're like cable anchors, kind of. Supposed to put the cables on, underneath them, or they're they have cable hooks. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's go take a look at the mirror. Okay, there's the mirror. Uh, it was pretty hard to get out of that wrapper. I don't know how they got it in there. They kind of like shoehorned it in there. Okay, so there's the mirror. It's a uh, it's very uh, hefty hefty mirror, dude. It's like about will add a good extra inch to your mirror. And there's the cameras there, and right there, and it looks like you can swivel it. Yeah, yeah. There's a, but there's a little ratcheting. Kind of ratchets, sort of. Okay, and it's got a mirror, so it works. It's a built-in. Uh, it's a pretty nice mirror too. It's very clear. Uh, I have auto darkening mirror, but I have window tint. So, and these are the buttons on it. So uh, let's go install it. So, I will just um, I'll just install it, and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of do a little step-by-step -step install here. Um, so there's the mirror. There's me. Um, and uh, so yeah, I didn't know where the power goes. First thing it says to do is to put the um, in, the in the manual. It says to put the SD card in. It says you should use the class 10. That's the one that came with it. So we'll use that. If it ever corrupts itself, well, I'll put a different one, dude. <laughs> and then that's pretty much it. Um, there, but the, all the stuff to plug in is on the top here. So there's a USB port for that mini um, mini USB, um, and it has the the power port there, and a reset um, reset a uh, reset button. So so if you're ever looking for any of those things, that's where they are. They're on the top. Um, okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's ready to install now. Um, so the way it ins installs is like just any other kind of mirror, add-on mirror. Um, it has a little little clamps here that go up and down. These ones are stationary, so you just have to um, you got to kind of you kind of have a hole. I I can't really do it while I I don't think I could do it with one hand. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, get the top two uh, um, claws and then uh, pull that um, hold the mirror. And pull down until the bottom claws reach the bottom here, and then push it in, and then the bottom claws should grab it. Um, yeah, 
that's uh, that's how you do it if you don't if you're not not, not familiar with it. It's pretty simple, but uh, I I highly recommend you don't do it like you know. I, I, I highly recommend you support the mirror while you're doing it because you never know the mirror the whole mirror might just break right off of the glass you know or wherever it's mounted so so don't do that make sure you hold the mirror and then you hold you hold the the monitor at the same time and then put it on don't don't just like don't try to hook it on here and then try to pull it down you know without supporting the the stock mirror you know so or else or else you might break it you might break your mirror and you don't want that okay there it is it's on there it's actually a very good mirror it's very clear i'm pretty impressed on the mirror quality it's super clear uh, so there it is it's on there you can see on on a prius i guess on the prius mirror this is the prius mirror with like all the this is the auto darkening mirror um it's one of the higher level uh, mirrors so uh it, it's probably better you install that like on a normal mirror because <laughs> uh, it adds a lot of heft to your mirror look at this there's a lot of play in it now, but uh, hopefully it'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, you'll see the claws on the top here. It's uh, not the prettiest looking thing ever, but so there it is. It sure does take up a lot of space. It takes a lot of real estate up, a little bit more than the stock mirror. Um, I'd say the stock mirror. It's about it's about a yeah, it's about a half inch longer. It's not that much bigger, um, but yeah, the, like like I said, the glass is very good quality all right so you remember uh, so now all you have to do is plug the power in so get your power cable and like I said the power port is on the top somewhere right here and then just run it um, you know you can run it along here or uh, yeah so run it along this wherever this is and then it's saying to run it along here and then down there through there and then wherever your uh, circuit lighter port is so mine is right here so i'll i'll go do that and then i'll, I'll show you uh show you the results all right 10 minutes into it and this is how far i've gotten boom right there so uh what i did is i i wrapped it around the the mirror once and then i put it up where the other wiring for the mirror goes up and it kind of disappears into the headliner and then what, it, it's really handy to have these uh, these little uh, trim tools right here. There's, a, there's another one. There's a, you can get these at Harbor Freight for like $6 or something. These are the really cheap ones. But uh, they're plastic and they won't mar your, the interior of your car. So basically what I did to get, tuck this up into the liner here. This The cable is fairly thick. It's kind of hard to tuck in the places. But uh, basically you just... Uh, Kind of just see you hook it up underneath the hood, the headliner, and then you just pry it open, and then you stuff the cable in there, and then you just gotta work it in there. Take your time. Oops, the other one just came out. And then when I got to here, so this is a Prius. It might be different for for your car. Uh, when I get to here, um, I start tucking it under the curtain here. The what is this? The the B pillar. So I tucked it under the pillar here. And I was thinking of going here, but I said, no, 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 let's go, let's go here. So I went through here, and then um, I had to pry that open with, uh, I think, this guy. This guy right here, kind of like that. And you just shove it in there, There's plenty of room. And then, uh, and then uh, I tucked it into here, this kind of rubber kind of liner here. And then all I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm working it in there. So basically... Uh, and basically all you have to do is stick it in there and then just, and then just shove it in as we go along. Uh, if you don't it tries to it tries to close up on itself so you know, it's hard to do it and film at the same time let's see. So all, all you have to do is jam it in there and then just stick the wire in there and just keep on doing that. Pretty much just does itself the rest of the time. See, yeah, this one is actually not that hard. You know, the the headliner is a little tighter. So boom, there it is. Just pull it out, just stuff it in there. They give you they give you ample cord. Um, 
yeah, there's enough to make, even make it to the center console, which is uh, where I may put it, actually. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. What I'm planning to do is uh, run it down here, and then uh, probably in, under the glove box somewhere, there might be some space to tuck the wire in. So, all right, he's like here. I got it all uh, wired up. So let's go through it one more time. So I tucked it in through here, the headliner. I showed you how I did it earlier. And then it goes through here, under here, through here, through un tucked under here. And then it goes under here, this plastic here. And then it goes up into the glow box here, right here. And open the glow box. Uh, can't see it. So this is how you access the cabin filter on a Prius, uh, but you can also hide the cable there. So the cable's right here, so there's still some extra I can kind of pull out here. Yeah, it goes up through here, right here, like behind it, and down here, through the HVAC stuff. And then there's a vent on the Prius that goes like right there, I stuffed it, I ran the, I fished it through that vent. I'll put this back. Also, I don't know if you got a Prius also, and I think uh, I think all the Priuses are like this too. Um, there's two little tabs here that hold it into the um, held the glove box on, and then there's a little dampener arm right here. Yeah, this little arm right there uh, connects to the peg there. You gotta pull that out and push these in, and then down comes the glove box. And then uh, it's the opposite to put it back in. So you can see the wire coming out here through the vent. I can probably get some zip ties or something and make it a little neater, but, and then, um, so this one, this is my USB for my phone, so it's already being used, so, but this actually, this is a, this is not part of the kit, the, the, it's, this is not part of the, uh, the dash cam, um, this is, uh, like, my own, but, uh, the one they have has three ports, so that would actually work better for here, for this, I could actually, I could actually just put that here. And I could just connect them all here, but I, I chose to to run it. Uh, the the Prius has a uh, has a 12 volt dealy inside here, so that's where I put this is where I put the one from the kit. But uh, I'm not actually not using it. I'm using it though. This one has a remote um, a remote USB right here, and this is where it's connected to right here. Right? It's actually the stick cable right here. And then uh, I just close the glove box. So, so um, yeah, my glove box is a little, uh, little messy, full of wires, but nobody can really see it, you know. So there it is, and then it should power on. Okay, so um, I'm not really gonna go over how to do all the settings and stuff. You can do that on your own. It's got the, it's got a pretty good manual here. It's pretty simple, pretty simple and easy to, to understand. Basically, you just gotta find a five volts. Um, power for it for like a, you know everyone has them in their cars now for to charge your cell phone you know um so so it's it, so it's saying somewhere here uh, okay this is kind of like kind of tells you how to install everything real quick it's a pictorial for those of you uh visual learners um this text about advanced setup but here so these are the so these are all the settings that you can do, and uh, and here are the options with recommended settings in bold. Uh, I don't know if recommended settings means it's the default settings. I think these are the default settings. So the default, I think the default is all the stuff in the bold. So it can shoot 720 from the front, and then the 400p to the rear. So not not super high quality video. Um, or from one, you can do 1080, 720, or 480. Um, it has a, you can adjust the white balance. and has a loop recording. So, so what that means is here on the bottom, it says it will record 10 minute clips. And then it'll discard the oldest one. So, there you go. And then, uh, audio recording on or off so you can set that if you want it two minutes five minutes ten minutes uh, yeah i'll just leave it 
well, I'll probably just leave it the way it normally is. Or you can have it uh, both cameras, or, or just one single camera, and you can choose which one you want. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then uh, and you can go play with it on your own. So I'm just going to go fire it up and go play around with okay, it. Okay, so let's go fire it up. So I'm going to press the on button. Car starts up. That's uh, kind of annoying. I hope I can turn that time off somehow. But yeah, you see there's a red light when, when it gets power. And then uh, you can see it's recording right now. And I don't know what the two means. I guess it means there's two cameras. And it's recording audio. And um, there's an SD card here. So it's, it's pretty simple. It says there's A and a B camera. Auto white. It's on auto white balance. That's actually, you can see the, the night shot working right now. It's kind of green. I'm actually, let me turn these, uh, these lights off. Yeah, now it's all kind of, now there's like no colors. The lights are pretty bright. <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess it kind of knows if it's dark or not. Um, yeah, it has an automatic mode adjustment. Uh, there's a date. And the date is off by a day, so I probably have to adjust that, but that's actually pretty good. Alright, so you can see the quality is quite good. Um, you can see pretty good at night. I, I heard some some comments on um, on Am the Amazon uh, that uh, that the, it wasn't very good, but it, that looks good enough for me. Uh, I'll have to view the video on the computer to, to tell you if it was good, or, good enough or not. But uh, this is at night right now. And it looks pretty good. Um, let me go turn the lights on. So the headlights are on now. High beam. Okay. Lights are off. And then let me go turn off the garage lights. Okay. So there it is. Garage lights are off. I'm going to close the door. I'll turn my light off back there. And as you can see, it's uh, the night shot is pretty good inside the car. Uh, unfortunately, the the um, the outside camera, the one that goes to the front for facing camera, is uh, not very uh, pretty dark. But it is really dark out there. Um, the lights are not on. So see if this see this car pass by. You can see that car pass by. Um, I don't know if you can make out its license plates or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the lights on. So you can see what's in front of me. There's a there's a car parked in front of me. And this is a high beam. So it it's good enough. You can see pretty much you can pre you can see pretty much where the headlights can see. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm actually quite impressed with the impressed with it. I, I'll have to see the video's um, quality on the computer. But uh there we go. Okay, so there it is. So that is my uh, kind of like unboxing. Uh, kind of like an overview and installation of the F360 Plus uh, dual camera kind of dash cam dealy. So uh, I, I think it's a great thing for Uber drivers. I think this is uh, that's their target audience here. Um, that's why it has the in, in, the the main reason I got it is for the interior camera, and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play with it right now. I'm I wanna. I will do a uh, kind of long-term review in another video, um, and I'll show you once I once I learn how to use all these controls, I'll let you know how to, how it went. But uh, it's pretty much set at default, and a default is pretty much what I want. Only thing I probably want to do is probably change the date, and then maybe uh, and find a way to turn the turn the monitor off. So yeah, there it goes. Uh, so my initial my initial impressions are like it's pretty nice. It's pretty easy to set up. You just need to have a, a USB port, and it does come with a USB charger, uh, a pretty good one, a three-port USB charger. The glass is a very nice and clear. I don't know how easily it scratches. I know some of these uh, aftermarket mirrors are, aren't very scratch resistant, so hopefully I won't have to have to like clean it too much. You know, I think that's what scratches it the most when you're trying to wipe the dust off of it or something. Um, yeah, it's very very clear. See, so you can see camera yeah and it was a fairly easy installation uh, I installed it just like the manual 
instructed me to, and uh, it was not that hard. Uh, I highly suggest you, uh, you could use a screwdriver, but I would get something like this. Uh, I Like I said, I got this at Harbor Freight, but, you know, wherever you can find, this is a, it's a trim removal tool is what, what they are. And it comes in like, I think this comes in like a six pack or something. And then, uh, yeah, so it was fairly easy to, to install. Uh, you can adjust these. You can move the mirror around. Um, but yeah, basically you want to, you want to set the mirror like how you want it, you know? Uh, mine is like, I guess it's angled to the left a little bit. Um, that's the way I prefer it. And, um, it's so like I could see the passengers and everything. And then, uh. It's a, it's a little bit longer than, than the stock Prius mirror, just a little bit. But the, the glass is very clear, very good quality glass. I'm very impressed by the, the, the quality of the glass. And um, yeah, it does add quite a bit of bulk. It's like it's like an inch thick there, geez. So it makes your mirror look even bigger. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's one of my kind of gripes about it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, it comes with, even comes with SD card, so it's ready to run right out of the box. So I'm I'm very impressed with it. $180. Um, I got it for $140, but uh, $140 ish. And um, I think uh, I think if it works out, I think it'll be a pretty good deal. It's I think it's a little bit on the pricey side. Uh, honestly, I wanted something like around $100, bucks, $150. Bucks. Well, I did get it for $140, so I'm not. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I think I got a good deal on it, and um, and it has a front and back camera, and they look like they're pretty good quality. So I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed my uh, my little overview and installation of the F360 Plus camera system, and I hope this helped uh, people out. And uh, yeah, so this is a 2006 Prius. If any of you are wondering. Uh, it's pretty much the same from 2004 to 2009. So uh, yeah, if you if you have a second gen Prius like me, um, that the way I installed it is uh, how you would probably install it. You know, it's not very difficult at all. Uh, it may be different on other cars. So there's still there's ample uh, there was ample uh, cord left to get to uh, to get to this port and inside the glove glove box uh, um, cigarette lighter port. So uh, so yeah. Um, they, for some reason, it came with two cables, and there there are no uh, specs. There, I couldn't find any specs on this guy. I don't know how much power. Um, I don't know how much power or how much watts this thing eats up. So, uh, I don't know how long you'd want to keep it on. But uh, okay, I also wanted to show you uh, uh, what it's like when it shuts down. So, I'm gonna turn the car off. So it's, it shows you that the power is cut. Stops recording, makes that annoying beep, and it turns off. There it is, and you can't even see the monitor when the when the when the thing is off. Pretty cool. All right, I'm sure there's a way to take all that that screen stuff off. All right, here's Miguel.